Uh, it was really fun. I mean, it was these the you know playing festivals. It's always kind of crazy and chaos because you have like five minutes to get all your things on the stage and start playing. And, uh, but it was it was a lot of fun. You know, we we've, we've been wanting to come back here for three years, and we finally got to come back and play for a much bigger audience than we got to play for last time. So it was great. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, too short, but it was fun. I mean, it's really hard to know because it's only the second time we've ever played here, and it's been almost three years since the first time we played here. So it was. Um, I don't think we've just played enough to really have any expectations at all. Now that we've played here, maybe next time we come back we'll have some more. But yeah, I think we just came into it wanting to have a, a good time and play somewhere that we don't usually get to play. So that was about all the expectation we had. Uh, a sweaty dude? That's like 90% of our fans? Yeah, it's usually... It's just like a rowdy bunch of, of guys usually all doing a lot of fist pumping and singing along and stuff like that, so, yeah. Um, well, we got to see Blur play last night at their warm-up show for the show tonight. So I really want to see them play again tonight because the Mexican audience clearly loves Blur. And I guess it's been a really long time since they played here. And last night they went crazy during almost every song. And that was in a fairly small venue. So I'm sure when they play tonight and there's 10 thousand people there it's gonna be really something to see so I'm really looking forward to not not just not really even watching blur but watching the audience react so to, to like blur playing here because I know after last night how much they loved them and loved the songs not at this festival I mean you know there's there's not a lot of Mexican bands that make it all the way to Canada you know many many Mexican bands will become quite popular in the United States but they won't make it as far north as Canada very often so you know, that was one thing that was kind of exciting about this festival was when you look at the list of bands, I mean, we know who the Yeah Yeah Yeahs are, we know who Blur is, you know, but there's about 10 bands that we know and then 100 bands that we've never, never heard of. So it's exciting to just get to walk around a bit today and just discover new bands and, and check them out for a bit, you know. Uh, that it's very, very big. It was much bigger than I expected. I knew it was a festival, but I didn't realize how big it was, how many stages it was, how much area it covers, how many people were here. So probably just that it's much, much bigger than I, than I expected. And um, also that it's, it's cool how it's not just the same international bands playing every same festival that there's a lot of, they obviously care very much about showcasing you know, Spanish-speaking bands and Mexican bands and bands from Spain, which is cool because you can go to a lot of festivals in different parts of the world and there's no bands from that country at all. It's all bands from America and from Europe. So it's cool that they do have some international bands from the States or from the UK, but have still, it's in, you know, kept a lot of Mexican bands and have Spanish bands and kept that as an important part of the, the festival. So it's really cool.